today we are here to present our next uh, podcast, which is on wagon utilization. And I would like to welcome Nicholas Czernitsky, head of the wagon department, uh, who will tell us more about what is happening. W what is it about? Because it's typical for rail, comparing to road, where each uh, company owns his own fleet. This is different within the rail business. Absolutely, it's different for, from, from railroad, com, railroad compared to, 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 truck, uh, to truck business. First, thank you for welcoming me in this uh, podcast. Um, why is it different for railway business? Because, in fact, for over a century now, wagons are international uh, objects, but the locomotives are not. And therefore, for, for a century now, when you make international business traffic for, for transport of goods, you have to exchange wagons from one railway company to another. It could be at the border. From the time of the monopoly, it was at the border of the, of the, of the countries that, that you exchange wagons between different companies, from, from Freud SNCF to DB Cargo in Germany. Now, with the liberalization of the, of, the, of the railway sector, the exchange of wagons between railway undertakings can be done at the border between countries, but also everywhere in Europe. And in fact, it's very important to understand that from going from one part of Europe to other part of Europe, from Scandinavia to Italy or from France to Poland, the same wagon loaded with goods will be carried and, 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 and transport through different railway companies that each time will exchange from one company to another. From, from France to Poland, you will start your, your, your travel by a, a French railway company and you will exchange with another railway company in Germany and in Poland. This is due to the fact that the locomotives are not fully interoperable and each, each locomotive is quite stuck to, uh, to, to its country. And so you have national locomotive and international wagons. So you have to deal with the exchange in permanence. It's, you, you exchange wagons every day all over Europe. And therefore, you need a rule, a common rule between the people that the companies that own the wagons and provide the wagons to the railway sector and the railway undertake, uh, undertaking that provides the log driver, the pass and the locomotive. And you have, in fact, two partners, two, two, um, two business partners that, uh, that make this international traffic possible. It is the railway company and the keepers of the wagon. And therefore, you need rules when there is exchange, you need rules to, to manage the relationship between the keepers of the wagons mm -hmm. and the railway undertakings mm -hmm. all over Europe. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is, of, of course, Im important in international business. Are there any specific other rules why we, we, we apply that, that uh, wagon utilization process? Are there any other specific things why it's important? Um, there are both liability issues when you exchange wagons, you, you have liability issues and you have technical issues. In fact, you need common rules, understand the same way by every actor, the railway undertakings and the keepers. And when you have a damage to a, a wagon, which happens thousands of times every day in Europe, small damages, uh, you have to deal with them. And then you need a common interpret knowledge and interpretation um, of, of this damage. And so you have to create damage code, for instance, that are, that are known and, and have, the, have the same signification for every railway actor. It could be a, a, a Polish wagon in an Italian train. You have to have common knowledge and interpretation of what happens. And therefore you need, and this is made through UIC, through UIC and UIP for the wagon, and we have to to put on the table uh, common, uh, common rules uh, with, with a complete uh, understanding of what it means all over Europe. Okay, interesting. So I, is it, it is as, as well in, 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 in daily operation as, 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 in, as in specific, let's say, normally exceptions like damages, but okay, they happen for quite. And, and what is a specific rule that, or well, a specific role that UIC plays in that one, then, and, and I, I assume also your expert group plays in that in that uh, in that wagon utilization. What is the specific roles of uh, of UIC? Um, in in fact, if we make a little history, 
uh, before it, at the time of the monopoly, the, the rules were different. The rules were made by each country, and you have one railway under, under, undertaking in each country. So the, the rules were, were made uh, uh, by the railway undertakings. With the liberalization of the sector, you now have around 400 railway undertakings in Europe and 200 wagon keepers. So there is a multiplication of the, of the, of the actors. And you have to, to manage, manage that. And what is very important is that the fact that when the liberalization of the sector was put on the table, the legislator told to the sector to organize by itself. They say, we are not going to, to, to give a, a European rule through the European Commission or through ERA. We leave the sector organize itself with its own organization. And in fact, in the, in the COTIF, which is, which, which is the, the main book for the rules of re international railway business in Europe, you have the COTIF and you have the CUV. And these two texts are very um, small texts and they, they uh, very short, uh, very, very short texts, and they let the sectors organize, uh, get its own organization. And so it was done through three main associations. The first one is UIC which represented the former mono, uh, incumbent railway undertakings, mm -hmm. the UIP, which is the, associ the professional association for the wagon keeper at the European level. All the wagon keepers are, are represented by UIP, and you have ERFA. ERFA is uh, uh, the, the European association uh, for the new uh, under uh, railway undertaking companies. And these, these three actors, these three associations, they have to build and to manage their own text and their own rules to, in, to, to, uh, to make the railway traffic as smooth and, 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 and uh, as smooth as possible. And it comes through, um, it necessarily comes through common rules that everybody understands the same way, as I said, from Eastern Europe to Western Europe, from Northern Europe to Southern Europe. And this is this is the, the, the need, what you call the use of wagon. We need the common text, and this text is the GCU. The GCU is a, is a general contract of use of wagon, and it is one of the most important texts in Europe in order to, to rule and manage daily business for yeah. the, for the yeah, railway, yeah, yeah. for the transportation of goods. Yeah. So the, actually, the, this wagon utilization rules go back till before, well, so before the, let's say, the, 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 the liberalization of the market. For you as an expert, what would you uh, mention or let's say what have you retained as the biggest milestones and, and maybe also then the biggest benefits? What if you say, okay, you've been, I, you've been in, in the business for <laughs> many, many years. Mm -hmm. okay, if you, are, you know, overlook the last uh, decades, what has there been really the, the, the biggest changes in, 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 that, uh, in that process actually? Um, in fact, in, in the GCU, which is a very important text, we, ha we have three principal, uh, uh, three principal texts. It's, it's a very big text, GCU, and you have to look it a little more in detail. You have the contract by itself, which is quite short, roughly 40 articles, and it manages all the liability and, and, the, and the responsibility and duties and obligation of, of each of the two parties, the railway undertakings and the keeper of the wagon. So it's, it's a short text and it's, li it's, it's linked to uh, liability business. And then after you have a series of annex and these annex are, are much more technical and are, much, uh, are very important for the daily business. And the two main uh, app 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 appendic app uh, appendices are the annex nine, which rule the exchange of wagon, the damage codification, and the measure, measure to be taken by your rules when you see something. Do I, can I let the wagon run or not? And what, is, what, what, have, what, what do we have to do for this wag on this wagon? What kind of label I have to put on the wagon? And the appendix 10, which is for the maintenance of the wagon. So appendix 9 is, li is linked to the railway, uh, railway uh, companies. What do I have to do to handle correctly the wagon? and to exchange correctly the wagon from one railway undertaking to another one. And Appendix 10 is linked to the workshop in order to make the maintenance what have to be done to the wagon in link with Appendix 9. Appendix 9 is, is I see something on the wagon, Appendix 10 is I repair, and what I have to do to repair it correctly and put the wagon back to service to make business. So you, in, the, in the GCU, you have three very important texts, the contract by itself, 
and two very important appendices. And in, in UIC, our working group, there is a main working group which is in responsibility of the, of the, of the GCU as a whole contract. And we have two subgroups, one for Appendix 9 and one for Appendix 10. And the two subgroups are, are, are managed by real experts, either in uh, daily operation or in maintenance and reparation of the wagons. And this is, there are, there are, those two groups are international. They are composed from, with people from DB Cargo, from Fret SNCF, from SBB Cargo, from Rail Cargo Austria, from Lineas. And this is a real expertise all over Europe under the, the UIC title that allow the sector to every, every year improve the quality of the GCU. Because every, every year we publish a new GCU with modification, and these modifications come from the technical subgroup, are validated at the, at the level of the UIC group. It's already validated with the two associations I also mentioned, UIP and ERFA. And these three associations, they make the GCU a living matter, something which is every year an evolution to go much more in detail, either for the safety of the, of the, of the running of the train or in simplicity for the use of the wagon. And if there is a problem or a discrepancy, the, we, we always, we, as soon as possible, treat this discrepancy in order to make the railway business mm -hmm. daily as smooth as possible. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, still, of course, uh, luckily, due to the, the, the liberalization, uh, we see each, each, let's say, each month new uh, railway undertakings uh, seeing, let's say, or, or being, being founded. What would you... Uh, give us an argument to join the wagon utilization group, would you say, okay, this uh, two reasons maybe, why <laughs> should you join? Why to join? For many reasons. Uh, first, this working group is really a working group of experts and everybody come with its own vision, its own, the vision of its own company. And after uh, one day of, of, of work, we, we uh, get our vision, but also the vision of the other company and the vision of UIC. So it helps us to uh, not to go on a too national or too narrow vision. It helps us to see the global picture and to understand that if you want to make railway business, you have to find compromise. You have to have the same understanding and you cannot, it's not the juxtaposition of each national vision. It's an international vision because railway business for good, it's international. And so you arrive with your national vision in the working group and at the end of the day, you have a much more international vision. And this is the only way to progress and to find compromise. On the other hand, the second argument, I can say that this, the, the topics that we are, uh, which, which are handled in, 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 in this working group are, are very different and uh, it, it can go from the brake blocks and the implementation of new brake blocks, it can go to automatic coupling, it can go to uh, liability uh, issues. And so it's, it's a real international expert group that, that, that help everybody to be better. So uh, the, the, the wagon user group uh, for, for use of wagon, it's, it has uh, between 20, 15 and 20 members and it's, it's a real success and it's a real international working group. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have been quite some time as, as, as a chairman also of this group. Yes, fortunately. Let's say, assume looking uh, five, five, five years ahead, what do you still see as things where you could, let's say, improve or what would you uh, still like to, to have and, and maybe where can, 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 we, can we sharpen up? It can become even better. What, what, is the, what can the near future bring you? Yes, what, what are the main to make progress, what in, in, on, on which topics we can make progress. For sure, we can make progress in digi digitalization. The, the, the railway is not enough digitized and it's, it's too often exchange of of PDF or paper, or, and, and we need to get automatic exchange of data. And uh, through Rail Data, which is a subsidiary of UIC, huge progresses are made for, for some years, and we still have to, to push forward on, on this topic of the dig digitalization because it's, uh, it's more efficient, you save time, you save money, and there is a, an, uh, an, an automatic exchange of data all over Europe. So obviously, Obviously, we can, we, can, we can make some progress on this. And 
we are developing some uh, IT system like the GCU broker in order to exchange automatically some um, damage report or some information and the flows of information it goes through a, a new tool which is GCU broker and um, we need to we, we spend some time and money on this GCU broker and I guess that for the next year we can make some progress and in fact make all the railway undertakings in Europe use this GCU broker. So on these two topics, we still need to make some, some progresses. With these words on uh, digitization, we are coming to the end of this uh, podcast. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Nicola. So the digitization will be one of the topics of our next uh, podcast. I hope this was very interesting for you and hope to see you then. Mm -hmm.